New planets, sneaky dinosaurs, and new brain diagnostics. This is five science stories for you in three minutes or less. No time to waste, let's get started. In a recent paper, scientists unveiled a new, well-preserved fossil of a meters-long Temnodontosaurus fin. The fossil showed soft tissue of the 183 million-year-old animal, which reveals that the fin appears to have been serrated like a knife. Modeling the fin shows that the serration would have made them silent swimmers. Temnodontosaurs are a type of ichthyosaur, and they have the largest eyes of any known vertebrate, helping them with low-light vision. These together put them at the top of the food chain. This new fossil allowed scientists to conclude that temnodontosaurs were likely stealth hunters, which we may never have known without soft tissue fossils like this. Eight babies have been born in the UK following a successful new IVF technique to protect against genetic disorders. Mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, have their own DNA, and mutations in these organelles can cause health complications. In rare cases where it's necessary, the new technique can be used to take a donor egg with healthy mitochondria, wipe out the DNA, and transplant the mother's genetic code into the donor egg. So far, the technique seems to be very successful in avoiding passing on some genetic disorders. Importantly, because the parent's nuclear DNA is preserved, the child's traits come entirely from the mother and father with no influence from the donor egg. You know of bottlenose dolphins, but scientists have now described dolphins in Australia wearing sponges on their noses like clowns. They do this in a complicated hunting technique that's passed down between generations. The sponges protect their nose from sharp rocks as they dig through the seafloor to stir up food. The behavior is very rare, likely because wearing the sponge muffles their echolocation just like wearing a mask. Nonetheless, researchers did observe the dolphins still using their echolocation, suggesting that they've trained to be able to adapt to the distorted sound through the sponges. Early diagnoses of degenerative brain disorders like ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's are vital to effective treatment. Fortunately, scientists have identified distinct biomarkers that correlate to specific diseases that can be detected with a blood test before symptoms show. The tests aren't actually new, but a new review shows that the tests are robust and reliable. Testing and confirming our understanding of the biochemical progression of diseases like this is part of the process of understanding the disease itself and developing treatments and prevention. And finally, astronomers have managed to catch a glimpse at the birth of a solar system. The James Webb and Alma telescopes show dust and gases around the HOPS 315 star starting to condense into protoplanets. When stars form, they also form a spinning disk of the same gases and dust that they formed from. This is known as a protoplanetary disk. We've seen this plenty of times before, but these systems have always already had protoplanets. This is the first time we're seeing the formation of a solar system at this early of a stage, and scientists are hoping that it could provide an insight into the formation of our own solar system. That's all for now. You can support me on Patreon and Ko-Fi, and subscribe for more next week.